So this weekend I picked up um, these uh, Briggs three horse uh, triplets here. Uh, they're all uh, different years. Uh, I call them golden oldies, even though they're more of a copper color. This one's a 1972. Then we got a 1974 and a 1985. So <clears throat> as you can see here, the, the old ones had the big gas tank. Uh, on the opposite side and an updraft carburetor on them there to float in it and then in 74 or that era we changed them to a pulse jet carburetor with the gas tank underneath it and it's got a diaphragm in here that acts as a fuel pump and uh, then another refinement was uh, going with the uh, this one has a paper air filter and you can see the gas tank curves down for easier filling. This one would have had a flat uh, foam air filter on it uh, like most uh, push type lawn mowers. So, uh, and then you can see a couple. And this one of course would be a magnetron ignition. The other ones uh, would be points. Points and condenser. And uh, you see the you get the round, I guess called log style exhaust pipe here. Same thing on this one. Hard to say what it came with from the factory. But then they went to this uh, offset one here. It's uh, kind of a strange looking thing, but this one's got the baffle rusted through so it would shoot exhaust out onto the air filter. But just, uh, just developments over the years. So. And the three horse eight cubic inch uh, Briggs horizontal shaft engines. So, uh, yeah, got got more for my collection. I gotta slow down though. So far this year, I'm up to about um, 55 engines. So, I'm gonna have to seriously slow down on my acquiring of these old engines, running out of places to put them. Anyway, we're deep into fall here. I guess it's pretty much the solstice now. Still got a whole bunch of tomatoes there hanging on in the garden. I don't know if you can see them. I'll do a noisy zoom here. Lots of tomatoes there. Anyway, everybody have a good one.